Have they been asking for grandkids? Which parents want kids the most? Are they pressuring you two about giving them grandkids? They ain't gotta answer that, I'll answer that. <laughs> hey y'all, and welcome back to our channel. We are sitting here today with my parents to ask them some questions that you guys wanted to know. This video is so overdue. Yeah. If you scroll and look on our community tab, and scroll down i asked y'all to submit questions to us over a year ago wow. so my bad we here now so without further ado let's just get into these questions do, do you want to let your folks introduce themselves here? oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> mama daddy i'm ursula thomas hi i'm jim thomas y'all want to plug anything of course you can always check me out on instagram and find your fashion with me and also, I have my own YouTube channel. It's just Ursula Thomas. I am an avid thrifter, and I'm good at what I do. And then they also have a, a channel together where they yes. talk about marriage and life and, and you know, being married 30 plus years and how to keep it strong and, and fun and fresh and all that kind of stuff. So right, good stuff. Okay, first question. Um, what did y'all think of me when y'all first met me? Oh, they've been so long. Tell the, tell the truth. We we transparent on this channel. Tell the truth. <laughs> Don't hold nothing back. Oh, my gosh. That have been years and years ago. The first time I actually remember seeing John was, uh, my sister was actually down. It was Thanksgiving or Christmas. Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Uh-huh. And uh, I kid you not, he got, he weighed about 80 pounds. And he had, they say it wasn't, but it was just certain haircut <laughs> cut was kind of slanted that way. And when he walked in the door, I remember thinking, okay, this is interesting. <laughs> and, uh... Different from what you were, were used to? Definitely <laughs> different, definitely different because uh, Janae had been an athlete since she was little. So, you know, of course we automatically assumed that she will automatically, you know, end up with an athlete. So, I, I knew he wasn't an athlete when I first saw him. But um, I don't think I had any crazy wild thoughts. I just thought, you know, this is interesting. We'll see what happened with this. Of course, I didn't think anything was going to happen with it. But we'll see, we, we, we'll see what's going to happen. Daddy, what would you think? Um, when I first seen John, I said, ooh, he's white. <laughs> I okay. Mean, like, like it just not like white, 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 but he's white, you know. And um, I guess just you know, being around a lot of white athletes, it didn't take me for a shock. Um, okay. And especially uh, going to a predominant white school, it didn't take me for a big shock. Okay. Hmm. There's a there's a few questions around this topic, so I'm just gonna lump them all into one. Okay. Have they been asking for grandkids? Which parents want kids the most? Are they pressuring you too about giving them grandkids? They ain't gotta answer that. I answer that. <laughs> Pressure, uh, parable, uh, uh, CPR, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, compressions. Um, yes, all that. Pressure, compressions. Yeah. I I feel like that's. I don't know if it's the black community or not, or if it's just like a, a few parents that I've known mm. that have been black that have said it. But I feel like the second. A couple gets married in the black community. It's like, all right, where are my grandbabies? <laughs> well, I know that to be true for uh for my Nigerian friend. Like one of one of her um, spouses, relatives prayed for triplets at the at the wedding. Oh, so, wow. <laughs> uh, yeah, pressure. Wow. Okay. Well, I'm not praying for triplets, but you know, I just, I. I want to be young and, and just be able to play and, and just absorb all the goodness. I only have one grandbaby. She 15. And so... You about to be 16. Yeah. No, no. She about to be 15. She, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. About to be 15. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so the little cuddling and the little juicy legs, you know, all that's gone. So, you know. She, she still got juicy legs? Yeah, but I can't <laughs> hold her and rock her and spoil her. Not in my lap, I'm just holding it and all that good yeah. stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Y'all think one or one or the two of y'all are more vocal about it? I'd say it's pretty, pretty even. Yeah, both of them drop clues, hints, tag me in posts. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yes. Um, definitely. Which parents were shocked at our union? I don't shocked. 
I don't think I was shocked. After I, uh, after I realized initially that I kept hearing the name a lot, and I think it was pretty much when you called and was like, oh my God, he tried to kiss me. I was like, uh-oh. And then from you knew from there? Yeah, I was like, uh-oh, okay, this this going on down the street. And I just stopped at the corner. Okay. And so I don't think I was just like, you know, shock, shock. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, I will say this. I was scared. Okay. I will say that I was scared because living in America, you know how it is, and... It's just, it's so much comes with that. Mm-hmm. And so I was, I didn't didn't know if they really understood the dynamics of everything that comes with that. So I was more so scared. And then especially uh, having my baby put in situations where it's predominantly or all white. And she's the only little chocolate drop. And that, you know, scared me a lot. I, I, I could say the same here too, and um, just uh, just from my uh, background and my experience with my white counterparts, um, it was I had a lot of questions. Um, yeah, I was very opinionated, um, and I was very strong in that in that point of um, uh, it's just really gonna come to pass. Okay. Yeah, somebody else had a question that was kind of tied into this. Of- uh, when was the first time y'all knew that our marriage was going to be okay? I kind of say our relationship for our marriage. And when was the first time y'all told us y'all were proud of us? So when was the first time like y'all was like, nah, I know they're going to be okay. Like even with us being in America and, right. you know. Well, I think they already know this because that's, it was such a pivotal point is uh, I, it was a holiday, 4th of July or something, I don't know. And they were, now they were still really young. And they were out on the beach. Janae had went uh, boating with, I think, John's sister. sister. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And during that time, somebody made a very derogatory type statement. And when Janae was telling me about it, and then when she told me John responds, and I was like, okay, he got some um to him. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I was able, I feel like from that point on, I was able to breathe. But we okay. are always praying for, you know, all of our babies. So we, we we still pray for them and still, you know, make sure that we keep them covered on a day-to-day basis. But I think that was it for me. Oh, that was my biggest thing. My number one thing um, from those years of, uh, way back to now was, hey, Will he be able to protect my baby? And uh, with the diversity and the things that's going on in the world today, yeah. uh, that sometimes that strength has to be enhanced even even the more. Mm-hmm. And that's been the number one thing from the first time I seen John to the second time to five years on up to now. Mm-hmm. Will he have the tenacity to take care of my baby? That was it. That was it. So the second part of that question was... When did they tell us they were proud of us? Or? I I honestly can't remember. I can't remember. But I'm sure I've told them multiple times, but I just can't remember the exact first time. Can you? I think um, you guys came home one weekend, and John, we was on Carnival Cove, I think. You know, we, I said, come take a walk with me. Mm-hmm. And, you know, that day we took a walk. I, and uh, I just began to share some things with you. We had a few of those. And, uh, and uh, I think within that, within that uh, conversation, I told you, hey, uh, I'm very proud of you uh, in, the, in the area of becoming part of my family. Mm-hmm. Uh, I can remember that uh, quite vividly. Okay. This week's new subby shout-out goes out to Just LaVon. Welcome to the tribe, LaVon. If you would like to be featured in a future new subby shout-out, Hop in the comments and let us know you're a new subscriber. Directed towards me, how is it for John meeting the parents, especially his future father-in-law? Dad is a big dude. He looks very intimidating to me. <laughs> um, yeah, daddy, daddy, how tell you, daddy? Five eleven three quarters. <laughs> <laughs> Look, looks a lot bigger in person. Okay. Um, yeah, I guess I was 
I was nervous to meet Janae's folks, just like for what reason? Um, what was your reason? Because I really liked you, and I knew that obviously you're, you know, it was our first time doing an uh, interethnic dating situation. You had never dated a white guy, and um, yeah, it was my first dating a time dating a black girl. So, like, well, what's, I think under, it was, what's underneath it, though? I think it, it was, like, my first time going into a black home. Okay. And I'm also dating your daughter. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, I, I was a, I was just nervous, you know? I wanted to put off a good good impression on them. Mm-hmm. Um, nervous that what, though? Just nervous they were going to like me. Nervous okay. if, you know, they were going to, like, approve of us. Okay. Um... Well, I don't even know if we were boyfriend and girlfriend at that point in time. When you first met them? Yeah. Because I, I know we started dating around Thanksgiving, but I think it wasn't until we got back to Knoxville when... I think I had already asked Janae to be my girlfriend, mm-hmm. and she hadn't, hadn't given me an answer yet. Yeah. Yeah. So that was kind of how long after the relationship was official did I meet the parents. It was Before. Yeah. Did y'all give me a cross-examination about future plans with Janae? I feel more so you did than I. Yeah, because, I mean, I, I truly wanted to know his intentions. I wanted to know <laughs> your intentions. Uh, I wanted to know, uh, were you in, in for it the long haul? Uh, I wanted to know, to some point, had he really thought about uh, the, 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 the true whole dynamic of being married to a black woman. I mean, um, so, you know, I, um, I, cross, I cross-questioned him quite quite vividly on that and it, 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 it passed my standard and test so I think I was still in denial when? He, up until we got married? all the way until? <laughs> I, no I wouldn't say up until you got married but even to the point of even wanting to cross examine I was just like you know I was passing on to him cause I was like I don't, I don't know they they you never took it too serious to even allow yourself to... Yeah, because I was like, I know the athlete's somewhere peeking in the bushes. I, you know, I don't know. We'll just see. You know, and that was my response. We'll just see. We, we'll just see. So, yeah. So, in your mind, when did it go from we'll just see? So, he kissed me? He and then, kissed And then you. that's when it was like, oh, okay. No, no, no. Because he kissed you and you was like, oh, my God, you gotta kiss me. And then I was like, well, okay, but... I was still getting like, if you remember, I was still getting like, um, not fully understanding what was going on because you'd be like, he tried to kiss you, but then at the same time, I'd be like, are y'all dating? He'd be like, no, we just hanging out. So I know she remember, okay. I'm not gonna call his name, but it was one particular guy. I was like, so how he doing? So how he doing? I don't remember us having that conversation. <laughs> I know the guy you're talking about. <laughs> But I don't remember us having that conversation. Because you were brushing off. I'd be like, oh, okay. So. I was brushing him off because I was like, y'all would not approve of him. And he she was said like, that. He she... was tatted and red and had a kid. I was like, y'all and ain't going to she... know nothing about him. And she would say she would say that, but I'd be like, oh, okay. But that's the only somebody I knew, you know, I could recall. So I'd be like, mm, okay. So how he doing? This is the alternative was the best option. <laughs> but you also, baby, you know, we went to UT and, um, I met with you guys there on campus and the apartment that he stayed in. You know that when we went up there, it was in, it went, to, went to Knoxville. I'm trying to think. Well, now, when we went to Knoxville, we uh, seen Janae. We went to Janae. I don't even think we seen John did. Mm-hmm. I don't remember seeing him. During my graduation? He was around during my graduation. Not the graduation, but before the graduation. You stayed in that two story. Like the roommates was downstairs and you was upstairs. The house? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't remember seeing yeah. I mean, that's when I knew that I got even more ease then. Oh, okay. 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 But I think after that, and then when I started hearing his name more and more and more, and then that's when I was like, okay. So no no longer are you. Yeah, I was like, it was, it was like it was going back and back. The, the prospect <laughs> was okay. going back and back. I was like, okay. So, I, when I did ask your Jim for you know your blessing, um, was that like when it became a little bit like okay, this is serious, serious? Oh, I knew. I, or what? Yeah. Did you already know at that point? At, Before that point, at that point, I knew. 
Because I had started hearing hearing his name too much, and then I had started seeing him a little bit more. And you was all giddy and yeah. making yeah. sure you playing this perfect birthday, this and this mm-hmm. and that. I was like, okay, yeah. so this some this some investment here. So yeah, yeah. definitely. The more and more I heard his name, it's, it just became obvious. So so even before he asked you to marry, asked you if he could marry me, you already knew. Well, see, I'm gonna tell you. At that time, I realized it was serious, and I, I realized that you know y'all was going to the next level. But right before that time, you guys broke up, so I was like, well, okay. So I started kind of pushing him back again. I was like, okay. But then when I saw uh, how crushy he was, mm-hmm. <laughs> then I was like, they're probably gonna figure this out. So <laughs> yeah. I knew. I knew. Same for you, Daddy. Oh yeah, but like I said, me and my, me and your uh, me and your mom, we talked about that, and, and uh, okay. I, I knew we, I knew you. I mean, you was you was really emotionally tied into him, and I knew that. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, here's one. What do y'all think about the season that we're going through currently? Moving, quitting the job, etc. I think that when uh, Janae first mentioned that to me i really be honest with you was very excited because you will have to understand that i am truly a believer in following your faith as far as how god lead god and direct you Uh, and i feel like a lot of times society has taught us what we should do as far as how long we should stay on a job and regardless of how you feel about the job, you know, you stay there and you this and you that. Me knowing who my daughter is and understanding whoever connected with her, they got to have that same tenacity that she has. Me knowing who she is and trusting the God inside of her, I was like, hey, go for it. As far as right now, I have so much so much more understanding and compassion and i'll say this uh she knows that i follow her channel i it's funny because i got on facebook so i could make sure i could see what they was doing when i while they was off in college youtube no facebook Facebook. i got on facebook so i could pay attention to what they were doing off in college but i got on youtube because i saw that as a tool that god was using to advance his people and to help his people and to teach his people a whole different way so i am a fan of my daughter yes i am so i am a uh member of her youtube channel and so i can say this and watching her channel the other day and watching a new video that they just put up it put me in such a place of compassion uh, and understanding uh, for my son-in-law. And so I am 100% behind what they are doing. I feel good about it because I know God's hand is on them. And I want him to take that brilliant mind that God has given him and to use it for the glory and the kingdom of God, however God direct him to use it. And a lot of times we stuff that out. We allow society to stuff that out of us. It's like when a kid is little and you ask them, what you want to do? They give you 15 things. And the first thing we tell them, no, you can't do all of them. Now, just pick one. And I don't want him to just pick one. I want him to get this thing and run with it and go and move. And I am excited because I know God got great and awesome things. And I don't want him to feel like he can only just be this. He can only, I want him to know who he is and have no doubt and have the reassurance of who he is and go out there and take the word. I, I, mean, I, I stay excited. Uh, you stay excited? I stay excited. <laughs> I stay excited. I said with that, with that engineering mindset and with that, 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 that God taste that he has in him, uh, being able to, to break the barriers of racism, being able to express himself, uh, uh, in the area of not only being a white man, but being a God sent man to, to really go behind the cattle corners of, of hurting men's and women's and, and relationships, black and white. And I mean, to do awesome things and stuff. And like I said, that's when I really get excited because I see the God in him where I did not see that. At the early stages, because why I wasn't looking for that, mm-hmm. wasn't asking for that. Mm-hmm. So now um, I don't ask God for certain things. I know 
that God has uh, produced certain things in him. And it's just my responsibility to just pray. Because, mm -hmm. you know, just pray for him. Mm -hmm. Just pray for him. Hey, leave them kids alone. And hey, let them spread their wings and fly. and fly. So if it's here in Memphis, if it's Europe, if it's Asia, if it's London, hey, so be it. Hey, we just, hey, we want you guys to just spread your wings and fly. And fly. And that's it. So that's it. I feel good about I have no the current situation mm -hmm. of their end. Mm -hmm. It's pretty sure I'm good to hear. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I had never asked. Uh, do y'all think I'm crazy for quitting this job with no. you, baby? Mm -hmm. No, uh, I know. Okay. Mm -mm. Want more content from us? Boom. Sign up and become a part of our Patreon. Thank you to all of our patrons who already support the work that we do. Your support helps us make more and better videos. All right, here's, a, here's another good one. Um, do we feel that your parents prepared you for dating and marriage? And in what ways, how do we model our marriage after your parents? Do I feel like my parents prepared me for marriage? I'm going to say yes. Um, simply because of the example, truly. Um, and I, I, I tell people this all the time. Like, what I saw growing up, I saw a friendship and I saw a partnership. Um, I saw, well, one person didn't have this or, or needed to do that. It's like the other person filled in the gap. Um, now here in the later part of their, their marriage, um, I see, you know, now they more, more so, you know, empty nesters and going into that stage. It's like, you know, you know, the, the dating more, the going out more, whether, you know, when we was kids, it was like, they had to just do what they had to do to provide for us. But even, even then it's a lot of, it's a lot of married couples who, um, when they are in the mindset that they just have to have to get it done, it's a whole lot of strife and, and disconnecting the marriage i never saw that i saw them double team teamwork stuff and still maintain a high level of respect for one another love for one another and like you know dream and they always have dreamed together like baby i can't wait till we have a house in the country let's go let's go out for a ride so in the ways that they could date each other um they have dated each other on top of you know seeing them you know, pray together and do ministry together. So, I mean, it's just so many things that I could say, and I don't want to, you know, make this video any longer than it has to. That's why y'all have to go over and check their channel out. Um, but I feel like they prepared me for marriage uh, just from me looking at what, what you know, a partnership is supposed to look like, what is a marriage supposed to look like, and then, you know, to seeing how my daddy um, protected, pr protected, protects us. Uh, and it's been many occasions where I'm like, Oh Lord, I can't, you know, I can't let daddy get too mad because somebody did something because I don't know if they're going to still have their life. I'm going to be, I'm just being honest with y'all. I'm just going to be honest with y'all because my daddy is fiercely protective over us. Um, and you know, and he, he will give us his last crumb. Even now, John, if I'm hungry and I want your last bite, what I'd be like, my daddy will give me the last bite, <laughs> but I don't do that to him no more. But I'm like, if my daddy will give me the last bite, me that last bite, you have, and then I'll be like, you can, have, you can have, and I don't want your last bite no more. Um, I feel like for me, um, just just like when we were dating, the what Janae said, that partnership that y'all have, that service um, for God's kingdom together, like y'all's ministry together, and the ability for one of y'all to you know step in at any moment with mm -hmm. prayer and um, a listening ear with some words of wisdom just like a call in the morning hey I, I had this you know vision this morning I had this dream last night I feel like God is telling me this mm -hmm. um, I feel like God is needs you to hear this um, just seeing what a just a strong ministry of a marriage can be mm -hmm. um, you know that's completely infiltrated and shaped your family and the generations to come right and just seeing that has been a big impact to me um the respect that y'all like I, I don't think i've ever seen the two of you argue um i can't say that i, I have ever seen them argue either right. which i which i know they probably have you know they conversations or whatever but mm -hmm. um it's always just just it's, a little head button it's always a united front that i've always seen with you 
even even if you maybe didn't agree on a situation, it wasn't like aired out publicly. It was handled behind the scenes. And I'm not saying that's always the best thing, but I appreciated seeing that. Um, and I do think I I try to model a little bit of that. Like I, I try to keep Janae and I's like business somewhat, you know, like protected. Yeah, mm-hmm. because, protected, but not necessarily like hidden. private. Because we are very transparent on this right. channel. Like we come on, so it's like it's 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 done in a way that's tasteful. Right. Mm-hmm. Thank you for putting those words in my mouth. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was needing it. Uh, but yeah, I think that's it. I think. I think that's it. Okay, so um, final, I guess, final words from my Padres. When did y'all, when it, when it, when did it go from okay, you know, oh, okay, to Janae's really serious about him, to like y'all had y'all own relationship with him, and it was like, no, we really love John. We are so glad that he's a part of our family. How did it look like? How do y'all currently feel about him and us? I think uh, for me, I would actually say. Uh, and this is God true. Something happened, and I think I might have told them this before. Something really happened on the inside of me when uh, they told me about their trip and how he stood up uh, for Janae. Because it was a level of respect that I didn't have before that that changed. And I began to see him differently. And instead of me seeing him as an outsider, I felt like I began to see him somebody as somebody we could bring on the inside and really include and accept and love. And then just watching how he caters to Janae, how he loves Janae, it just grew me even more. Just to love his personality and who he who he really is. And understanding that he is so willing to learn. He's so willing to understand. And he has just such great compassion. I feel like for when Janae is hurting or, or when something is not going completely right... You know, he 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 took with me sometimes because it's almost like uh, Johnny fix it all. You know, I got it. I'm, I'm gonna fix it. I'm gonna fix. It, I'm gonna fix it. <laughs> but that's who he is. You mm-hmm. know, and I love that about him. And I think from that point on, I started seeing him differently. I started being able to accept him, and I just really began to start loving him more and more. And even today, because I know that you know. It's not only just great things out there for him, because we see them as one. It's great things out there for them. And I get excited because it's like I see them, not now, but in the future. And I know that he's only going to, he, he's just an awesome person. He's only going to grow and get Amen. better with time. And Amen. from that point on, I love him. I really do. And that, that's the point. That's the pivotal point for me where it started. You know, and I can't really tell you guys when that point changed, but I can tell when my voice changed, my mouth changed, because it went from John to my son. Oh, my my son, my son, everything, my son, yeah. my boy, my son. Yeah. yeah. So, mm. and, 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 and see, that, that's an inside God thing for me, because John possessed some tenderness at his young age that I didn't possess. He, he possessed an inner strength of quietness that... I don't possess, and I'm now at the age of, that I am now. I'm catching up with that, so I can actually watch John sometime and just sit back and watch him through his softness, through his quietness and stuff like that. And that's strength. That's not weakness, and I can respect that. Mm-hmm. Um, I really pop question. Did y'all care that we eloped? Did y'all have any feelings towards it? No. Mm, no. No. <laughs> no. I did. I did. <laughs> I really did because, again, uh, just through the supplication of prayer, mm. and God tenderized, I know you tenderized me, and I'm, I know you tenderized your mom and stuff. And we I'm got saying, tenderized. We everybody so, tenderized. You know, uh, it, it, was, it was just much easier because I, was saying, I said to myself, hey, the seed of the righteous shall be delivered. Hey, 
them my babies, we're going to let our babies go. I think for me, it now, it, now, I would have loved to have seen the whole walk down the aisle and all the grooms and brides. I would have loved that. But me, like I said, understanding who my daughter is. And I knew I could see kind of where they was going and, you know, want to be right with God. And I think that was my main point because he had moved and, and they was traveling. And, and I was like, you know what? Go ahead on and lock it up. Lock it right. Do it right. You know. Mm-hmm. And and uh, so by that, I was fine with it. Because I knew she wanted to be with him. And I knew they wanted to start their life. and So I was fine with it. And I knew, you know, starting out, you know, the money that you have to put into that and all of that. And it just worked out yeah. beautifully. Mm-hmm. So, and I wasn't wow. so stuck into this traditional stuff as yeah. well. So it, it, it worked itself it worked out. out. It's fine. Yeah. I want to say this before the video wrap um that even though my parents at the beginning had pause they never we never knew it it never felt like yeah. that pause that was something that they held um and talked you know amongst they themselves like they, 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 like they shielded us and protected us from you know their reservations all we ever felt was like all I acceptance was welcoming and, and like it's never like Janae's parents tried to drive a wedge between us. Or they were passive aggressive, right. or they were like dropping little things, or my mom was like, I don't like that whiteboard. Like, it, it was mm-hmm. never that. Like, they shielded us for it, from that, and they did the work on their end to pray and seek God and talk to each other. So, it was always all love since the, since the top of this thing, you know, started. So, I did want to make mention uh, of that so if y'all enjoyed my parents and enjoyed what they had to say remember to follow them on their youtube channel i will link it in the cards here and i will link it in the description box below so check out the description box for um not just their channel it's some videos that we mentioned throughout this video i'm going to leave them in the description box below until next time bye be blessed bye